From evolution to gene editing and technology for improving bioavailability of herbal drugs, science has produced interesting discoveries this week. Well, I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the best that science offers, from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. Let's move on to story number one. Evolution of complex life forms on Earth have always intrigued the scientific community. In a new discovery, it is observed that longer days on early Earth may have set the stage for complex life. Today we know that oxygen fuels much of life on Earth. Three billion years ago, oxygen was scarce in the atmosphere and oceans. How this gas became plentiful could illuminate the evolution of our planet's flora and fauna. But scientists have struggled to find a satisfactory explanation. Now, a research team led by J. M. Clark from Max Planck Institute for Marine Microbiology, Bremen, Germany, has proposed a novel link between how fast our planet spun on its axis, which defines the length of a day, and the ancient production of additional oxygen. The researchers used microsensor measurements and dynamic modeling of interfacial solute fluxes in cyanobacterial mats to investigate the effect of changing day length on Precambrian benthic ecosystems. And simulated increases in day length across Earth's historical range boosted the deal benthic oxygen export even when the gross photosynthetic production remained constant. This fundamental relationship between net productivity and day length emerges from the interaction of diffusive mass transfer and deal illumination dynamics and is amplified by metabolic regulation and microbial behavior. And the researchers observed that the resultant day length driven surplus organic carbon burial could have shaped the increase in atmospheric oxygen that occurred during the great neo proterozoic oxidation events. The suggested mechanism which links the coinciding increases in day length and atmospheric oxygen via enhanced net productivity reveals a possible contribution of planetary mechanics to the evolution of the Earth's biology and geochemistry. The proposal is mentioned in the paper published in the recent issue of the journal Nature Geoscience. Moving on to story number two. And gene editing has been a hot topic for research in recent years. A group of researchers from the Riken Center for Biosystems Dynamics Research in Japan has recently developed genetically modified marsupials using the gene editing technique CRISPR. And CRISPR, which is short for clustered, regularly interspaced, short palindromic repeat, is a scissor-like technology which uses a highly manipulatable protein that scientists can program to bind to a specific section of DNA and cut it, which often introduces mutations when the DNA heals and disables the gene involved. The new research could help scientists get a better understanding of the unique marsupial biology, such as the pouches some carry their young in, as well as provide insight into human health. And opossums can get human diseases like melanoma and have more types of immune cells than humans, which could warrant further study. And researchers had a hard time inserting the CRISPR into the opossum cells without damaging the embryos, as well as syncing up the exact timing of the procedure. Eventually, they found they could control the lighting in their laboratory to encourage an optimal breeding schedule and used a tool called piezo electric drill, which uses an electric charge to penetrate cell membranes. And in this case, scientists were able to prove their experiment worked when they knocked out the gene that codes for pigment production and bred a litter that included albino opossums. And moving on to story number three, in a major boost to herbal industry, the CSIR and the Central Scientific Instruments Organization CSIO, Chennai Center has developed a temperature and flow control ultrasonic spray T focus system for nano drug formulation. This could improve the efficacy of herbal medicines by enhancing the bioavailability of the herbal ingredients of the medicines and the delivery of herbal therapeutic ingredients as drugs in conventional forms shows variable and non-uniform absorption. 
lower duration of residence in the stomach and varying gastric emptying time may limit the bioavailability of these drugs. They are also highly sensitive to temperature, atmospheric moisture. Their hygroscopic nature affects the particle-particle interactions and leads to poor water solubility and contributes to the poor flow in systematic body fluid circulation. To overcome such limitations, herbal drugs can be encapsulated with suitable biopolymers such as nanocarriers and the nanocarrier can significantly enhance the gastric emptying time and deliver a higher amount of drug for a sustained period in the stomach. In addition, the amount of drug required to be incorporated into nanocarriers is much less than required when encapsulated in a tablet. This is very useful when using expensive phytomolecules. Optimal use of phytomolecules improves the cost effectiveness and therapeutic efficacy of the product. And keeping this in mind, Dr. S. Prabhakaran, senior scientist at CSIR, Central Scientific Instruments Organization CSIO Chennai Center has developed the T-Focus system with support from the Advanced Manufacturing Technologies Program of the Department of Science and Technology DST, Government of India and aligned it with Make in India initiative to enhance the colloidal stability of poorly water soluble herbal extracts. This device could improve cost effectiveness and therapeutic efficacy of medicines involving expensive phytomolecules. And with this we come to an end of this edition of Science Time. Stay with us every Friday at 9 pm till then keep watching India Science. Namaskar.